Hey guys, it's Lexi. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make and use a quick little oatmeal hair mask. It's pretty simple to make and it's only four ingredients. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see if this was good or if it was a total flop. Keep on watching. Bye. Okay. I know that this angle is like pretty awkward, but just bear with me for a few seconds. So the first thing I did was take a half a cup of old fashioned oats and grind those up in just my Nutribullet. This is supposed to make them, um, the oats into smaller chunks so that it can penetrate the hair more easily. So that's what I did. And then I'm taking one half a cup of milk and pouring that into a bowl. Then I'm adding some essential oils. I added lavender because it's supposed to be good for dandruff and hair health. Then I added some coconut oil for added moisture and I just microwaved it to make it mix easier. Then I'm just going to be adding the grinded oats a little bit at a time and just mixing it together with a fork. Once I got back to my room, I realized that the mask was way too thick and also wasn't enough to cover my head. So I decided to add some water and conditioner to help with that problem. <laughs> so then I just kept adding a little bit of water, a little bit of conditioner until the texture was just right. So even though my hair mask is ready, my hair is definitely not ready for the mask. It's been in this bun for about two days, so it's pretty nappy and extremely tangled. So in order to get the full effects of a mask, I definitely need to detangle my hair. To do this, I take a spray bottle full of water, and then I add two pumps of, of whatever conditioner, it doesn't really matter, and then I just shake that up and I spritz that on my hair, and I detangle with my tangle teaser, and that's just what I do throughout my entire head. As y'all can see, I'm just doing pretty small sections. I always section my hair because it just makes the process go by a lot faster and I feel like I'm damaging my hair less when I do that. So yeah, that's the most effective method for me. Now that I'm on my last section, I guess I can explain to you guys exactly what I'm doing in case you're interested. So I'm just taking the spray bottle and I like to massage the water with my hands because I feel like it allows the conditioner to like penetrate it more. I don't understand, but it definitely works for me. So once I have my water in my hair, I just comb it out with a tangle teaser. This thing works amazing and it's better than any, any wide tooth comb I've ever used. This is the amount of shedding. I've just rinsed all the conditioner on my hair and now it's time to put on the mask finally um, I'm definitely gonna want to put a towel on my shoulders because this is going to get messy like when I say messy I mean messy so I spray my hair and brush it out and then I need a shower cap to put on once the mask is completely on my hair So I started off by sectioning my hair and then this is just how I'm going to apply the mask. There really was no good way to put this on if I'm being honest. Like I thought about using a squirt bottle but then the oat chunks would be too thick. So this was the best method to just scoop the mixture in my hands and put it on my hair that way. This was definitely effective but extremely messy. So as y'all can see I'm just continuing to section my hair and get a nice handful of this disgustingly textured mixture and just plop it on my hair. It looks really bad and it felt really bad too, but let's see if it works. So even though I'm done with my sections, I still have a little bit of excess 
to um, use that I didn't want to waste. So I'm just putting that on my end specifically for the moisture. And then I'm taking some more and just like using it to put my hair into the bun at the top of my head. I'm wrapping that around and then putting a ponytail holder on it. And then I'm just going to use a shower cap for 45 minutes. Okay, so I'm so mad at myself that I did not record myself um, taking this out in the shower because it was such a pain. The oats were not coming out, and as you can see, there's still chunks in my hair. I was in the shower for about 20 minutes just trying to get it out. As far, far as moisture goes, I feel like this didn't really do anything to make my hair more shiny or anything like that. So because of this and the difficulty taking it out, I say that this mask is not good for curly hair. Thank you so much for watching.